Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Outpost Engineer, and uh, let me just show you, between episodes, I was just kind of playing around with the different textures and the chisel tool. I think we did a little bit of that last episode. I was trying out a few different textures here. Here you can see kind of like a tile texture on top of stone, and then I think I might have a concrete block there. And then uh, got like almost like a metal pattern here, which looks kind of cool. I think I may these may be... Um, there may be some <laughs> some steel blocks here or something. I can't remember what I actually placed. Uh, let's see. I can pull it up just for the heck of it. Let's see. Yeah, I think these were tin, tin blocks. Anyway, but I think what we're going to do, or I think what I want to go with, at least to start, is just the, um, is just the concrete blocks. So those are made from stone, and we'll need to uh, automate in order to... Uh, to get these going, let's just see. If I go into inventory, what do we got here? Do we get a pop up on the hot bar? I don't see pop ups here. Concrete blocks. I'm pretty sure that's the one. So that's these guys. And then, although I've got four of each, which makes it complicated, let's uh, take that off. Take that off and pull concrete blocks down. And then, do I have something else here? Maybe those were the same. No, concrete block. Lumber, sand, and rock. I think it was just these concrete blocks that if I place these guys down, just the default texture looks kind of cool to me. So I'm interested in automating or getting a line of that going fairly soon and, and putting a, or collecting a bunch of those into inventory so we can use them to build out our platforms. Now, right now, as we've been setting up our little platforms we're going very low you know low tech we're not putting a lot of time into making it look pretty we're just getting our initial production up so that we can have building materials to uh to craft things out so let's see when we left off last episode i think we were in process of finishing off a tin plate line and we talked about how we don't have coal coming yet out to these two facilities uh, and we need coal for the furnaces. So in the, in the short term, we've been using copper boxes. I don't think I have any on me. So let's get a copper box. We'll feed some coal into this guy. And then we will um, get the tin ingots out. we got to run power over this way. we got a bunch of stuff to do. Let's see. we got... Uh, do we have cable on us? We do. Let's see. I've got that on a hot bar here. Let's get a power pole out here at least. We'll start with that. And I think I've got, let's see, this right here. And we can look at this power pole and hit the T key. That gets us the range. I'm sure we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're well within range. I'm going to put a power pole just around here somewhere. Boom. And then I'll hit the T key again, maybe to get out of that. And then let's run cable. There to our mining drill. And then there, all the way over to there. Boy, that is cool. Look how far I can actually attach that from. That's kind of cool. I see the T is still here. Let's see there. That got rid of it. Oh, look at that. I see another grid far away. Another one of these, uh, these things here. I wonder if it's uh, how I turn them all off. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Well, that did it. I had just hit escape a couple times and it disappeared. Talking about the uh, that power pole range of effect display. All right, so we've got this guy smelting. We need, I uh, must have put some coal in there by hand earlier. Let's go get a, some copper bars. I think we've got some in here, maybe. Copper bars. Do we have any ore on us? We don't. We may want to grab some tin ore, but we're in the process of automating that. So let's see if we can get by without it. Got 50 copper bars. Let's build a copper container. Maybe a couple of these. All right. So we've got two of those, and then we'll need some inserters. How are we doing on those? Not well. Let's we need tin plates for that. Do I have tin? I do. Let's uh, 
Let's hammer out some tin plates. This is the thing that we're trying to automate right now. So hopefully we won't have to keep doing this by hand for too much longer. Now can we get some of these? Oh, I still need more tin plates. Looks like they're still crafting there in the bottom left of the screen. How much tin do I have left? 17 bars of it. We're going to have more. Matter of fact, it's smelting right now in the background. So I'm not too worried about using this up. Okay, that's enough for another inserter. And then we're going to need a constructor. And we'll need some bronze gears for that. How are we doing on bronze? Not great. But I only need one more bronze gear to pull it off to get that constructor. That may be one of the next things we automate. It's the bronze and those bronze gears. All right, can I get a constructor? Not yet. We got to wait for the crafting. Let's get started. We'll pop down our box here, our copper box. It's a little goofy, but do I have that? Yeah, I do. Boom, about right here is good enough for me. And then inserter like that. Whoops, other way around. Oh no, I had it right. I had it right. My bad. This one's going to be taking coal out of here. Let's go fill that up with coal. While we're waiting, well, actually stuff has crafted, but I'm going to go fetch some coal here. And then, uh, yeah, we may want to come, once we get the tin plates going, we may want to come over here and expand this little rock kind of extraction setup we have going here and extend that in order to create the, um, the concrete blocks. So I think that that might be a good thing to do next. I'm going to grab all this coal. I might even grab out of here. Is that going to auto fill? Yeah, that's going to auto fill. So we get a bunch of coal. Again, this is all kind of temporary as far as the tin setup here. Eventually we'll wire coal over or belt coal over into these setups. The other thing is I know down the road on the tech tree, I believe there is now an electric furnace. And boy, that will save a lot of belts having to do coal. But now I don't know if we'll be able to, to wait that long until we get to the tech tree. Get through the tech tree. We may, you know, we may have to uh, belt some coal out here before before we actually get to the electric furnaces, but at least we know they're coming. All right. Now we want to pop down our constructor. Do I have that guy on a toolbar? I don't see it. This is a good place for it. Let's go grab that guy. Did we make it? Oh, we did. Uh, I guess not. We were waiting on the gear. So let's go back to our little uh, workbench here. And get that constructor crafted up. Shouldn't take too long. We'll come back. And see if we can pop that guy down. Yeah, I do have it on the hot bar, so that's all cool. Rotate this guy. I'm not sure which way is the right way to look at this thing. That looks cool to me. And then we've got an inserter. And that's going to go like that. We pick a recipe here. Tin plates. And we did get another copper box, but I didn't grab another uh, inserter. So let's go see if we can make one. I might steal this tin out of here. And let's see. Do we have bar? Yeah, this is all filled up good. So we can... Oh, no. Copper bars. Why is this not running? Oh, he's out of coal. Huh? All right. Good thing we grabbed that coal. Dude, I was hoping to grab a bunch of copper bars out of here. Uh, we have wire in here. I'm going to let that back up because I kind of want some copper bars to back up in here. We've got, looks like we've got plenty. So let's make some bronze over in this guy. Some copper and some tin. Bronze. Top off the coal here. Maybe I'll combine these stacks. That all looks good. And I need to wait on that bronze, I think. And now we need what? Do we need a few gears? Or was that just for the... Um, that may have just been for the assembler. Or the... Yeah, the... This guy, the constructor. Let's see. Can I make some of these? One, two, three. We know we're going to need tons of inserters. 
This will at least get us started. Does that guy have anything in there? Not yet. What's he waiting on? Oh, he needs power too, I bet. Let's uh let's run some power. I may actually do another poll. I'm gonna go heavy on the power poles. Just because I think that's gonna pay off later. Could be wrong. Might be overkill. So from here to here, and then from here to this guy. Now we should be good. Hopefully we've got enough. Uh, there we go. He's doing his thing. Switch hot bars here to get to my inserter. Plunk that guy down. All right. So that's our tin plates. Those will stack up. Um, again, we got to keep an eye on coal. Unfortunately, let's, uh, let's head over to our stone production here. Actually, before we do, why don't we grab another constructor? We know we're going to need it. We've got some bronze cooking over here. Hopefully we've got copper cooking in there. Let's grab out the bronze. I know we're going to need it. Wait for this last little bar to finish. Boom. We'll grab that. I know we're going to need more of these gears. Let's get a few of those crafting. And we need a constructor. We just got to wait for the gears. And we know we're going to need more um, inserters as well. And a copper box. Let's grab a couple of those. Grab a couple more of these. And let's see if we can steal some copper out of the uh, furnace over here. Not yet. It's still filling up inventories. So we got plenty of cable here. I don't want to steal it yet. That one's full too. So hopefully we'll get some copper bars that start to back up in there. Pop the rest of our coal in here. Let's see this guy. Okay. He, oh, I can steal it right out of here. There's 35 copper bars. I stole it right out of the input for the constructor. All right, let's see. Can we do our constructor here? This, this one's going to be for the uh, concrete blocks. Boom. There's rock. Where is the concrete? Do we, did I place them all? Let's see. Boom, boom. Just flipping through my hot bars here. Got plenty of rock. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. I can grab some tin plates here on the way, probably. And this guy, we don't mind. He can keep running. Very cool. We're making progress. We're here. We're just, we're still at the kind of manual shuffling things around stage. But at least we've got some raw materials automated. I think once we get this guy going... So this guy's all full of rocks. We can maybe take this up. I've got the inventory space. Let's take this machine up if I can. Let me hit escape here. I'm kind of got locked in there for a second. And let's pop down our constructor. Ooh, didn't I not? I thought I made it. Did I not make it? Nope, I was waiting on gears. Same thing as last time. Sorry about that. While we're here, let's grab some more coal. Grab up all of this. And head back over and make a constructor. And then again, we're going to be automating like um, concrete blocks because we're going to use those for our platforms, I think. Go ahead all the way over here to our workbench. Boom. And grab a constructor. There it goes. I got a bunch of stones here. Let's uh, go ahead and craft some of these up. Or I need to craft rock first, it looks like. So I'm going to craft a bunch of rocks just to chew up the stones that I've got in my inventory. I'll leave some, but I don't need that many. And then I will grab, since I've got rock being constructed. Let me make some concrete blocks. I think that's what we want to standardize on uh, again for our foundations. All right, we've got our constructor. Let's hop over here. We've got a copper box. I can see it on my hotbar. Let's head way back over here. Pop 
power plant is just generating power. Looks good. And we've got plenty of rock here we could mine. We can set these miners down all day long. So we want this dude here and then another inserter like that. And then a copper box here. Whoops. Click that to drop it. Let's pick a recipe here. We're going to go for concrete block. I'm not sure what the difference is between plain. Kind of like this guy right there. And then we just need to run a power line. Let's do that. U over two. There it goes. Nice. And let's see if this guy is working. Okay, I don't see him going. Network power 53 out of 54. Okay. Concrete block. You know what? This is a two-step process. Shoot. First, we got to do the rocks, right? So we got to go get another. Unfortunately, we got to go fetch another uh, constructor. The two step. First, we take the rocks, turn it into stone blocks, I believe. Yeah, rock. Let's take stones, create rock, and then we're going to craft it into the concrete. It's a one to one with the rocks, so it's not, uh, it doesn't take any more material. It just takes one more constructor in that chain. So, unfortunately, it's a bit of a long walk here back to our, <laughs> it's a bit of a long walk back to our work table. see if this guy's got some uh no he's doesn't have any extra tin i was hoping to grab some tin blocks so we could do some more bronze i'll fill up this storage box let's see we gotta pound out more of these we know i need at least three how is this guy doing we'll grab out the bronze there might be able to steal some copper here not sure. Yeah, should be some in here for me to take. Take 40 bars of that. Let's see, can we make another one of these? Looks like we can. And then do we need another inserter? We might. And we've got, I just grabbed some copper. Let's grab another couple copper boxes because we know we're going to keep using those. Back we go. And again, this will get us concrete blocks. We'll start accumulating those and using those for our platforms. So I have an idea in mind of what I want to do next, but let's finish this thing off. We just need change hot bars here. Let's grab that constructor. Boom. Another inserter like that. And then another copper box boom let's pick a recipe on this one here we go this time we can do the concrete block and we need wire or cable to get power over here we may actually want another power pole i think i'm going to do that just because we only i think we only get like five connections And uh, that goes pretty fast. So let's do one. We'll take this guy. Going from a wood one to a concrete one. Power up that. Escape out of that. Did we get it? Uh, no, I missed it. Looks like I missed it. Okay, boom. Nope. There's our wire. There we go. All right. So now we're getting some concrete block. And again, we'll use that for crafting. I might be able to throw a bunch of these rocks in there. Look at that. A hundred. I don't think I need them. So we'll let that stack up. That'll keep this inserter pretty busy. Things may back up a little bit. But that's all right. So I really want the concrete blocks. All right, so the next thing I'm thinking we might want to do, let's uh, let's head over to the crafting table. 
But I'm thinking we may actually want to be getting research moving forward. And for that, we're going to need molecular analyzers. So let's just take a look and see what we can craft. I should have grabbed some coal while I was over there. That's the other thing we're going to need to do fairly early is get that coal belted out this way. Let's just see what we can build. So we've got the satellite array. I don't see molecular analyzers. So I think we may need to do the satellite array first. And then that may unlock the molecular analyzer. And that's how we get uh, the research going. So let's see what we need here. We need 40 tin blocks for this guy. We've got some tin automated here, but it's, it's making plates, not blocks. <clears throat> we need five bronze gears. We can maybe get that going at least. Two, three, four, five. Got a few extras. And let's shoot for this satellite array. This thing is huge. 20 tin blocks. What's it take for a tin block? Is it like, okay, it's just one tin bar. So we need some tin. What I might do, what I might do is just take this inserter up and let some tin accumulate in here. So we've got this process kind of automated. So we'll let some tin accumulate in there and then we'll hand craft the, uh, the tin blocks. <clears throat> Let's head over to our copper smelter here and just opportunistically swipe some copper out of there. Let's see. So we've got 49, we've got a decent amount of bronze, got lots of copper. Yeah. We need some tin and we need some more of those cement blocks. So now while we're waiting for the tin to smelt up, we need to think about where we want to put that satellite array. Basically with the satellite array, it's a huge satellite dish. We're just going to be feeding it data cubes. There's kind of a nice flat spot right here. That may not be a bad spot. And then we'll route, we'll either, we'll probably start by hand carrying the data cubes in to the satellite array. And that's how we'll complete the uh, research initially, but then eventually maybe we can belt them over. So I don't know if I even need to level this ground. It's fairly flat in that when that's, when we place the big satellite dish down, it may actually do a little more flattening for us. So maybe not too much to worry about there. So we could go and run and get some coal, or we can think about actually what it would take to automate the conveyors. So we've got copper cable already being made and automated, and we've got tin plates being automated. So if we could belt those two to a, some central location, then we can actually set up some, uh, we could set up some automated belts and just be able to use that for all of our future construction. So this is our cable line. Right now we've got some cable going in here, right? But we could just extend this line out this way and maybe pull some cable up the hill and come back this way and meet up with the tin plates. And that's an option. Again, we're talking about automating the conveyors just takes tin plates and copper cables. We're going to need a lot of these. We're going to need a lot of them just to get the coal out here. So that kind of makes sense as a next thing to do. Of course, we're going to need a bunch of belts just to pull this off. But we can belt the plates out of here. It just depends on where we want to do that construction. Hmm. Again, I'm talking about making the belts, automating the belts. Kind of thinking we do it over this way. We've got a bunch of space. There's not, well, I guess we do have a couple ore deposits here. But maybe, maybe down this way. Why don't we grab some of that concrete? Let's head over here. We'll grab some concrete. We'll reload up on the coal. And we'll build a foundation for what's going to be our uh, automated belt production. 
And I think as we research in the tech tree, I believe there are faster belts. Initially, they're going to be kind of slow. Let's grab the concrete blocks. We got 121 of them, I think, or something close to that. We'll grab all this coal. Probably grab a stack of this too. Let's just steal that. And then let's start building a little platform out this way just for the automated belts. So we'll probably pull, yeah, we'll pull plates off of this. How do we want to do that? Yeah, I don't mind having that little buffer there. So let's see, let's, uh, let's start digging and just see where we end up. Kind of want to replace these blocks with, uh, with the concrete blocks that we've just been making. We'll build out an initial platform and we'll just see how this goes. We'll play with it and experiment a little bit. So boom, boom, boom. Right, and all of this we want we want a big area here. Hopefully, yeah, it's letting me drop a few. I may need to mine down through this a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to let me take these up. We can use this stone. Just take some of this up. And then we can have something that looks kind of cool. The foundation will look kind of consistent and nice and flat. And try and make it look a little bit pretty. I don't usually take time to do this, but uh, I'm trying to do it more. Because <laughs> I've seen some really cool factory designs on the discords. And man, I get jealous. So I got to work on my skills making stuff that looks cool so let's try it boom boom now there's a way to if i hold the control key so if i point far away and then i hit the control key it builds blocks all the way to me so that's a big time saver i'm just doing i'm just pointing far away and holding down the control key and then primary clicking all right that's not perfectly beautiful but it's a start let's go for inserters We know we're going to need to bring stuff out of that box. That's our plates. And then maybe we plan for, we will belt the, uh, the copper wire through this way. So, and then have a constructor right here to do the belts. Let's just double check this constructor. Oh, he can't do it. So I don't know if I even have the recipe in order to make something that can automate the belts yet. I don't see it. So that constructor can't do it. Is there another machine that we can build that can do it? I don't think so. We may need to do some research on the tech tree before we can even automate the belts. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, the constructor's the only thing we've got. Yeah, I don't see a way to do it unless there's something obvious I'm missing. Like we can make the belts obviously here at the assembly table, but to automate them, we've got to have a constructor or something like a constructor. And when we went to our constructor and looked at the recipes, I don't see a belt here unless I'm, you know, not seeing it. It's something obvious. Let's grab our tin bars out. We know we need to make, uh, in order for the satellite array, we know we need to make a bunch of, uh, what was it? It's... We need 10 blocks. That's probably over here on this guy. 10 blocks. How many was it? Need 20. And those are one to one. So that's fine. 
So shift click gets me 10. That should give me 20. Those craft up super duper fast. Let's see now. Can I make this dude? It looks like I can. Boom. We'll let that thing craft up. And then what do we say down here? Maybe, right? We've got kind of this flat gravelly area. Basalt. Let's see. This seems to make sense. It seems like a fairly flat area out in the middle of nowhere. Off on the coast. Let's grab this thing, pop it on the toolbar, and see. You'll see this thing is huge. It's pretty huge. All right. And it's hard to tell how it's oriented. Okay, I just accidentally drifted off of the uh drifted it off of it on the toolbar. That's not bad, right? Anywhere along here is pretty good. I'd say right there. Boom. Oh, boom. Am I in the way? Ooh. Let's see. It's not uh it's not letting me place it, so it could be the ground's not quite level enough. Yeah, I'm left clicking here. It doesn't like it. Let's see if we can get it to change colors. Okay, there it did. So there's a place, there's a placement that it's gonna want. There's one. Let's that's close enough, right? Boom. Okay, we got that placed. We'll make this look pretty with blocks and stuff later. Let's uh we can do a little bit of it right now. Let's uh, go get to our concrete blocks here. There we go. And we can shore this up a bit. But uh, we'll do most of this later, making, the, making it look pretty. Let's just do one of the legs here, just so we can uh, see what it's going to come out to be like. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, it's not letting me get close. Kind of bumping into it here. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to that. doesn't look like I can get there with my cursor. So that's kind of strange. Now it's letting me. Or it did. Boom. Yeah, I'm kind of hitting the model. Like I can't come in underneath it. That's why it's doing that. It looks like that. Anyway, we'll make it look a little better. Cool. All right. Now let's see. Let's click on this thing and see what we get. I'll do a primary click first. It's been a while since I played. So I'm not sure. Okay. Now I'll do a right click. Okay. No, that's just going to take it up. And now I'll hit the E key. Boom. Okay. No power. Establishing the earth link. Okay. That's probably going to do nothing, right? Because it needs power. Let's pull down some power poles. Matter of fact, I need to craft some of these and then we'll. Tell you what, why don't we wrap the episode here because we're running low on time. We got our satellite dish place, the satellite array. It looks pretty cool. Very nice. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. Uh, next episode, we'll run the power over here. Then we'll uh, interact with it and see what we can do. And then hopefully we can unlock whatever heck we need in order to automate the belts because I think that's the next thing we're going to want a whole bunch of. We've got some tin, uh, you know, being collected up here. I purposely left the inserter off so I can steal some tin. We'll use this to make bronze until we have it automated too. And then we need to think about, I really want to um, automate the belt production because we need to route coal to these two little, little tiny factories we've got going here rather than hand shuttling it. That's probably one of the early things we want to get automated so we're not having to hand carry coal to these all these different areas. So hopefully that technology uh, in the tech tree will allow us to unlock whatever it takes, a machine or just the recipe to automate belts. Anyway, we'll get to that next episode. For now, this is Glidercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Outpost Engineer. I sure enjoy playing it. And I'll see you in the next episode.